Okay, another thing I'm going to do, which you don't have to, is delete these catalog files for the other versions of Windows 7. Since I deleted them from install.wim, I don't need them anymore. This one will get updated later. I'll show you show you more on that later. So, another thing to delete ei.cfg. This crap. This is what automatically selects, you know, like let's say Windows 7 Ultimate, and it moves on to the like the DVD, the 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 the, the hard disk part of your setup. You know, so you delete that if you want to select, be able to select multiple versions of Windows 7. Okay, so now we're gonna mount install.wim and we're gonna update it. So we're gonna do dism slash mount wim slash wim file we do colon path to wim file this in this case is seven sources install that wim and now index slash index since we deleted all the crap it, it would be normally index 5 would be Windows 7 Ultimate but since I deleted all that crap there's only one index so index 1 and now we do the mount near slash mount near and the colon C mount and this will mount our image let me pause this and I'll be back when this is done. Okay, once our image has been mounted, now we can integrate our drivers, we can integrate our updates, we can do stuff to it. So if you can go to C mount, you can delete files, like you can go into, let me turn on hidden folders, like you can go into users, public, and you can delete any, um, any recorded, you know, public, you know, sample media and crap. Also, you can add files to it, like like I do. I add my OEM, you know. My I'll, I'll show you more on that later. Let, let's do the updates first. So I'm gonna copy all my extras into the update folder to save time, because I don't have much time right now. Okay, let me delete this. Turn off hidden files. Okay, so we're gonna integrate our updates. So we do dism slash add package. And we do package path slash package path. And we do colon. And we do C dr updates. In this case, it's backslash updates. And we do backslash again. Oh, I forgot the mount file. So image slash image colon C mount. The order of this stuff doesn't really matter, like add package and package pass probably, but the slash image, it can go right here, the sm slash image, or it can go right here on, on the end, you know, so. And I think that's all. Yep, that's all we need to do. And now what DSM is gonna, DISM is gonna do, it's, it's gonna scan the, um, the updates folder for any cabs or any MSU files, and it's gonna integrate them into C mount. I'll wait for it to start, let you see what it looks like, and then I'm going to pause and I'll be right back when it's finished. It's going to it's gonna detect all those updates, like hundreds. I have like, this is George's update pack, you know, George King. It found 113 updates, I'm going to integrate them all one by one. So I'll be right back when this is done. See so all my updates were integrated successfully if you get an error here's the tip if you get an error you copy the error code by using mark you, you, you highlight it and you hit enter and you go to your DISM log and you do a search for that you do a search for that number and it'll tell you exactly what update failed and why for what reason okay now that our updates are successfully integrated now it's time for drivers so we're gonna do DISM slash add driver Let's do the image first. Slash mount, slash image, colon mount, slash add driver, 
slash driver. Let me do a colon. Let me do a path to the driver to the drivers folder. We're gonna do a path to this folder, not to the individual driver folder. And we're gonna use a switch that'll I'll show you right now. So we do C drivers. And we do a space and slash recurse. What this switch does is 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 gonna look in all these it's going to look in the drivers folder for any INF file if it doesn't find it, and it's going to look in this subfolder and until it finds you know INF file so so you use slash recurse if you have like more than one driver in, 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 the, in the driver folder so I think that's correct my switches are all correct I think yep slash mount I hit enter okay where was my error Okay, make sure that the path of the Windows directory. Okay. What did I. Oh, I, it's my mount. My mount deer. I, wrong mount deer. There we go. That's fixed now. Oh. Okay. Now I hit enter. Now it should work. Okay. So with the, what I was saying about slash recurse switch, you use this when you have like more than one one driver in the folder. So now it's gonna it's gonna scan all these folders and all the INF files. It's gonna detect them. It's gonna integrate them one by one. Searching for driver packages to install. found 136 drivers in my drivers directory and it's going to install them each one by one. I think it's in alphabetical order. And that's pretty much how you integrate drivers. I'm going to pause this and I'll be back when this is when this is finished. Okay, so my drivers, they're all integrated success successfully. Um, so that's pretty much it. Now we can, we can pretty much, we can dismount, we can, we can unmount this, 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 um, this image and, and, and we'd have, you know, Windows 7, you know, up to date with all our drivers and stuff. But we're going to go a little bit further. Let me open this in a new window. And I'm going to talk about some adding files to your to your ISO. Okay, so I got them in update packs and add on seven. Okay, this is my mount mount my mount files. I call them. Let me let me show any hidden files. This is what I call mount files. Okay, they're they're, they're pretty much like they're only like they're they're like programs and stuff that you don't have to like install. Like resource hacker it doesn't come with an installer. It's just like program files that you copy to a, to, 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 a, to a driver on your on your hard disk. I have driver backup here. It's my, I have Redshot, Virtual Dub. In, in Windows Sidebar, I have some extra gadgets that I use. Not much. Also, I have my um, my Windows Defender and my Windows Anti-Spy, my Windows um, Essentials updates. So Windows Defender updates go in. Program data, Microsoft Windows Defender, definition updates, updates. This is where you put your Windows Defender updates. And your 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 Microsoft Security Essentials are basically the same. Microsoft anti anti anti-malware. Definition updates, updates. These are the updates to all your virus signatures. I'm pretty much hungry right now, so what else? Oh, I have shortcuts to the program files. I also have some some stuff in System 32. I, ha I got my Hotfix Extractor. I got FGCBA by N7 Appleson. I got 7Z Split. Update Catalog Web Control MRT. The way I I add MRT is I just copy it to my System 32 folder. And during first login, I use my auto on attend.xml to launch MRT slash Q with the you know silent switch. And what it does is it scans my computer. And what it does is it also adds a a, a GUI ID to my to MRT like MRT version, you know, so that Microsoft updates knows that, it, that you have updated MRT and you have scanned your computer, so it doesn't bug you with the MRT update. 
got Reg Swainf. In my OOB, I got some, I got some bitmaps, you know, for like my computer properties and stuff, and for like Media Center and stuff. What else do I have in my Mount Deer? I have themes, wallpapers. I have my uh, my tweaks. I have them in INF format, and I put them in in the INF Deer, and I run them with you know my auto on the XML on first login also not many tweaks you know like register for DLL files OCX files AX files mum files you can right click a mum file and you can click install and it will install it you know I'll show you uh, user accounts too command control panel you know gmail dot gmail drive you know what else this is basic you know reg tweaks you know I have an INF format I'll show you how I execute this in, in, in another video on on my auto on a 10.xml. What else? I got my send to, my send to, you know, start menu programs, utilities. These are all my programs. So I got users. It's my send to shortcuts. These are all my sent, sent to FGCBA, sent to hot, hotfix extractor, sent to reg to INF, sent to res, resource hacker. So you, you pretty much get the idea. So what do I what I do is I, I have a, I have them set up here in my mount folder. So let me, let me go back out. And all I do is I just simply copy them. And I go to my mount here and I go to C mount. And I just paste them in here. So And yes. That's pretty much it. I also delete some stuff from users public. I delete videos, the sample video. I delete it. Also, I delete public recorded TV, and I delete. I leave public pictures, and I delete pu sample music. I delete sample pictures. I leave this because I like them. I leave those. So that's my mount files. I've added them to my Windows, so if I go to Windows, System32, and you'll see them all there. I do reg to INF, REG, for reg, and you see my reg to INF in there. And all the shortcuts and stuff are added, so that's it for that. Now, when I'm done, what I do is I unmount this. So you do DISM, slash unmount WIM, slash WIM file. No, 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 wrong. It's Mount Deer. Maybe colon, C Mount. And we do commit. Because everything was successful, we added our stuff, so we do commit. And that's pretty much it. In the next videos, I'll be talking on removing components. I'm removing, the, you know, like components that you can see and com components that you can't see. So, I hope you guys have learned learned stuff, you know. If you can do this, the other stuff is going to come pretty easy, you know. Like when, when you read the, the, the Windows Automated Installation Kit help, help file, you know, you, you'll, you, you'll get it like that. You know, you'll say, oh, it's, I just do this, you know. So, I'll see you guys.